And it's time for us to move on to our other segment. Yeah. Your hammer. Or law hammer. <laughs> so every week, Tom and I will try and trick each other by telling two Warhammer law stories, one of which is true, one of which we made up ourselves. Bam. Will we trick? Who yeah. knows? Will it be your or will it be law? Um, so, so we need to minimize chat so they don't spoiler us. We have to minimize chat. Um, Unfortunately, I, I couldn't I couldn't come up with a poop poop related story this week. Oh no. Were you able to find a poop story? No. <laughs> no, but um uh this week I do have um two very mine are just mine are quicker. Mine are oh, okay. just like statements. Cool. Pretty much. And so maybe it's gonna be harder, maybe it won't be as hard. Um I was doing I've been doing a lot of, I've been taking this way too seriously <laughs> and been reading a lot of Warhammer lore amazing all over the place mm -hmm. um, have you started to like just lose track of what if is even real anymore just god I've been reading so much dumb stuff but making up things man honestly making up stuff mm -hmm. like adapting pre-existing stuff easy yeah making up brand new things impossible like I find it really really hard to I know just what you mean just pluck something out of thin air that's dumb, but not too dumb. Yeah, because even reading really, really dumb law. Yeah, and then being like, "Wait, is is?" But I know that is true now. But if I if I make something up, I know that it is not true, and so it, it always in, you, it always feels implausible. Yeah. Uh, so, would you like to go first or okay. second? I will go first. Um, would you like a story about Grey Knights? Or a story about um, emperors in the old world. Ooh, Grey Knights, please. <laughs> okay, so um, the Grey Knights are the the dedicated demon hunting chapter of the of, of Space Marines. Mm -hmm. They're specially trained and bred to be all psychers, all incorruptible, all good, all the time. Best boys, EU. They will kill your demons dead. Yeah, they're pretty good. You'll do whatever it takes. They're like Silip Bang, but for demons. <laughs> yeah. And one time, there was um, there was this like evil chaos artifact on a planet okay. that like spread like blood rage and fury across the world, and everyone near it slowly became overcome with like like cornate level worship and bloodlust, and uh, they all started murdering each other and like summoning in like this caused corn demons to like come in and start like fucking everything up. And the world was going to get annihilated. So the Grey Knights get called in to like save the day. And it turns out that there's a, um, there's a, like, a Sisters of Battle monastery chapel thing on this planet. And they've been like holding out. They've been like praying to the Emperor every day and resisting like, the urge to like, murder, death, kill. Okay. And they've been like, trying to protect um, the people from this like, rage virus kind of thing that's going on. And so the Grey Knights turn up and they're like, it's pretty bad. Like they we might get turned into murder, death, kill. Oh, no. Kill men. So they, they, do, they beam down and they just fucking execute and mutilate all the Sisters of Battle and then do a ritual and daub their armor with the pure, innocent blood of the oh sacrificed <laughs> Sisters of Battle. Ooh. And this like ritual and this like blood of the innocent protects them from the murder virus. And then they go out and they, they, they fight back all the demons and they shut the warp wrist and turn off the device and they save the day. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's pretty fucking dark. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. There endeth the story. <laughs> it's pretty grim. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. God. Sounds like that something that could happen. Um, fuck. Yeah. Dirk. Okay, so story number two. Okay, story number two. Is um, in the empire of Warhammer fantasy, mm -hmm. um, there's elector counts. And when yes. the emperor dies, the elector counts uh, vote among their number mm -hmm. for the new emperor. That's why they're called elector counts. <laughs> and um, one time there was like a period of like the five emperors or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I... There was like lots of different claimants and not enough people could get the controlling... Like enough people to vote for them. Yeah. 
Um, so there were like too many emperors because everyone said, well, I've got three or four elected counts who vote for me, so I'm the emperor. Yeah, and then other people yeah, would go like, well, that doesn't count because I've got three or four who vote for me. Um, and there were lots of wars. And it was a dark time for the empire. Um, but this was like wrapped up when um, a lot of those like leading claimants were like killed in battle with each other or assassinated or whatever. And they all uh, were dealt with. And the only guy that they could all agree to vote for was like this sort of quite calm, inoffensive guy who hadn't led like an army to fight for himself. They all agreed that basically like all this killing is doing us no good. We're, in it, we're vulnerable to outside threats. So they all agreed to vote for this like quiet nobody elect count so that no one wins. Right, okay. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. We'll all, we'll, we'll all agree to lose and we'll let Pleb elect count be the sure. emperor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we can be unified and deal with like the vampires and the orcs and all this stuff. So this guy got voted in and he was just kind of a nothing and he didn't do anything. He didn't like um, take charge or like lead an army or like he was just like this sort of really passive shit emperor. Um, and the empire just got slowly like became like disunited. Every province started to just go, well, if the emperor's not helping, I'll just look out for myself. Right. Okay. And they stopped paying their taxes and they stopped cooperating. And the empire kind of like fractured into all its different states. And it was like the weakest the empire's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, and as this happened, the vampire, like a, a, a vampire warlord raises a huge undead army and attacks the empire. Sure. But because they're not unified anymore, like the, the response to it is like piecemeal. Yeah, yeah. the classic empire problem <laughs> the of they yeah. don't work together and slowly. And so, like, this vampire eaten. like um, invasion does really well and takes loads of land over, and like the vampire's like going to conquer the empire until someone realizes this pleb elect account. He smells funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it turns okay. out, yeah, yeah, he's a zombie, and it's all a plan where this vampire count had like has this like puppet emperor who's just like this. Basically, he's a zombie, but he's like quite a good zombie. He's not decayed much, and like they've worked really hard to make this like the least zombie-like zombie. But that's why he didn't really do anything or talk to anyone. Like, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because they couldn't like legit make him seem, <laughs> seem human enough. Seem like the he emperor. Was just like, yes. Like, because if he tried to have more of a conversation than that, it'd be obvious he was like a oh, reanimated corpse. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he had like this retinue of people who'd like take care of his flesh and like <laughs> patch him up if he got scratched. And, and so this like ruse is revealed and they, they murder the son of this elect account. He's like, I'll put you out of your misery, father! Father! <laughs> and like pierces his heart with the rune fang and oh. like dispels the magic and he's like, I'm a zombie properly now. Okay. And then they, the, the empire unites under this like son who's like, we have to work together. I'll be the new emperor. And, and they beat back the vampiric horde, save the day, and he's the new emperor. Oh my God. So basically the, the, the story summed up is they once voted for a zombie to become emperor wow. for like five years. Okay. I love, I love it. Um, so which story is true law hammer and which story is bullshit your hammer? Um, God, I think, fuck. I think they both, they're both really good. Um, the first one's very dark. Mm. Even for 40K, that's like, oh God. Like, I, I don't really know. I never had, I had the, it, when they did the Inquisition Codex. I mm. had that and I had read that when that came out. The Demon Hunters. Demon, yeah, the Demon Hunters book. Mm. Um, yeah, when Grey Knights didn't have their own codex, it was just an amalgamation of inquisitorial and shit all there together. Was, there was only like a few stories in there that had them and I, they weren't even my favorite part of the yeah, Demon Hunters. They, they were the most boring part of it. You wanted to know about like the weird death cult assassins and the, yeah. like inquisitorial retinues and stuff. And so, I just, and I've never really like looked that far into them. Um, and so I honestly don't really know a lot of. Well, because when the first Grey Knight book came out, that was when we were both drifting away from it. Yeah, and they were super dumb. They had the Doom The bot, Doom bots, um, yeah. And I, and I hadn't played 40k in years. Mm. Um, and we, we, yeah, we just stopped playing like Games Workshop games. And so just didn't pay any attention. I've not read any books that have them in. Are they... Well, that's why I picked 
bring yeah, out yeah. because I know you've been doing a lot of like law reading recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so that's a safe, a safe bet. So fuck, I have no idea. Um, I thought they were like friends, friends with which uh, Sisters of Battle, but I don't even know where that story would be from. If that's in a codex, if that's in just like a fucking Black Library book. Or oh, my brain. Or oh, Ben's brain. <laughs> no. The only reason why I'm like a little bit like that didn't come from Ben's brain is because it doesn't have the little Ben's parable Benism at the end. <laughs> but I made such a point about that last week that maybe, maybe you're like, okay, it. there can't be a little moral of the story. <laughs> yeah. And so it turns out that the Sisters of Battle learned never to pray for help again. <laughs> it didn't have one of those. Um, oh. the, the other one is a lot more fun. I zombie like, Emperor. I like Zombie Emperor a lot. <laughs> I really, really like Zombie Emperor a lot. Um, that is way more, way more up my street. Maybe because I, I like the fancy vibe. Um, yeah, uh, having it, it just makes sense. It just is like a fun. It's a fun, stupid story of. I feel like that one is more likely to be true, just because. That feels like one of those throwaway stories of like, in a timeline. Uh, oh yeah, in one of those like yeah year by year. And like, it's just like you know this is like a thousand years ago. Yeah, the when year of like, the zombie emperor. <laughs> and there's just like boom that time, and that is like I can see that in a world. Um, mm. But I feel like they'd talk about it more. And I definitely read one of the vampire counts books, and it wasn't in that. And I feel like, but I guess maybe that'd be an emperor. I don't know. Um, I don't know where... They're hard to place, both of them. That's it. That's the problem. Maybe I'm like, I just overthink it too much. <laughs> yeah. um, I like yeah, them both a lot. I think you're better off not breaking them down and just thinking like, which one which, which one feels like it was written by GW and which one, which one feels like bullshit. I, th I think the... I thought the... the um... The the first one felt very brutal. For the Grey Knights are like we're noble and good. I'm sure they purge planets and stuff, mm. but they're not going to kill Sisters of Battle. Surely not if they're like still faithful. If they start doing some weird stuff, maybe they're like, okay, right, we've got to like take your blood. <laughs> um, but that seems a bit dark. And I think maybe the story I want to be more true is the Zombie Emperor. <laughs> so I can't decide, but I li I think it's Zombie Emperor is just that is more fun, and I li I <laughs> want like that, that one world, to be true uh, more than like the Green Light one could be true, and I don't think it would change my in <laughs> my enjoyment or knowledge of the hobby at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd just be like, oh yeah, Green Knights. Sometimes they're dicks. Sometimes they're not. Mm. I didn't think I'd ever make it during that army. So I'm going to go purely based on fun. Okay. That one. Oh, God, but the other one. I always overthink it too much. Just that one. The fun. Fun one. Okay. Fun. What, I like a zombie. <laughs> the Emperor is a zombie. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it hits a lot of the great hallmarks of an empire story of mm -hmm. squabbling elect accounts. Actually, fuck, does that make it too blatant? Obvious. That. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit all the core notes. <laughs> if you wrote that story, good for you, Ben. Good for you. Um, I like, yeah, that one. It's, okay. So you're going with Zombie Emperor is Lawhammer. Yes. And Grey Knights is your hammer. Yeah. Oh, Tom, I've got you again. <laughs> Oh. It's the other way around. Oh, no. Zombie Emperor was made up. What? And the Grey Knights, in the fifth edition codex, there's a story where they, to purge a blood-worshipping planet, they daub themselves with the blood of the innocent oh, sisters no. of battle, and everyone's fine with it, apparently. Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck. Oh, well, you wrote me a good story. Um, wow. Wow, I'm a, I'm, I'm speechless. Oh. Um, Should we have a little look at chats? Oh, sure. how are how are people? Fuck, man, I just you get me with like the good the good things, the good ideas, um, 
And so that that was a that was a Matt Ward special. He oh, wrote, he wrote that codex, and it's been missing from every other Grey Knight codex that's come out since. Okay. Um, wow, it got retcons. I, I don't care about retcons. Like, if it was printed at some point, it is still true. <laughs> yeah. um, every everything is canon. Not everything is true. Yes, that's my approach to GW um, lore. Wow, man, that's it's dark. It feels really dark. It's really dark, right? Um, it feels unnecessarily dark. Uh, shit, man, I love the your made up story was amazing. <laughs> it hit all of the good notes. But it's a classic Empire story. <laughs> it's just, it's just like I can just see that. I can imagine reading it. Mm. Like it feels like it could be a thing. Um, fucking well, well I admit, it was. It's not entirely my story. What there was a. It was like an attempted plot to put a zombie on the throne. What? That failed. They never elected him. Oh. There was like an elect account who got replaced with a zombie, and that's what gave me the idea. Oh. But they were like, they didn't vote him in because he was... And all the other stuff I added. Okay. It's okay. just like I read this one thing yeah, about yeah, like, yeah. one time they nearly voted for a zombie emperor, and I was like, oh, oh, I'll make I a whole it. story about... Imagine that, if that worked. Okay. And that's why it's bookended with the classic empire tale. <laughs> just, I love, I love it. The, I love the classic empire tale of... Everything, the status quo returning, <laughs> everything's dumb, and then returned. You got me. You, you fucking got me. Oh. Well played. Um, so, um, well, mine's, mine's very quick. Mine's, okay. I'm going to minimize chat again. Minimize chat. I don't um, see the... Uh, I don't want get, to get spoiled. Okay, so, it's two. Two very easy ones. Two very simple. Okay. Um... Both, both really, really quick and easy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, first one, Gasgol Thracker owns a Ferris wheel. <laughs> right. The second one, um, uh, Tao love ice cream. <laughs> right. So, uh, <laughs> both like carnival related. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you? Wow, now all I can imagine is Gasgol Thrucker running like a fairground with loads of Tao coming in eating ice cream, <laughs> eating ice cream. while he's like a ringmaster with his giant Ferris wheel yep. going, roll up, roll up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, they both kind of work, don't they? Like, the orcs always have some kind of weird, quirky story. Um, so I could imagine that being true. And like... I can also imagine like a weird throwaway line in a tale book about how like once they conquered an imperial world and they got ice cream and they're like, this is the, the best thing we've ever eaten. <laughs> Show us more of your anime titties. <laughs> anime titties. <laughs> uh, yeah. You truly are a race of culture. Bam. Oh, man. Um, I want Gazgal Thraka to have a Ferris wheel. <laughs> I feel like that would be fun. What, does he just go on it in his spare time? Does he invite his friends over? No more info. I guess. Like, yeah, they, all the orcs ride the Ferris wheel. All the orc knobs. Um, That's how you know you're in the inner circle. Yeah, yeah. He's like get, closest companion. Yeah, like what are his friends? His Boss friends. Zagstruck and... Mad Doc Grotznik. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, him and Mad Doc Grotznik, <laughs> they love riding the Ferris wheel. <laughs> right. Uh, um, I feel like that's I'm going to overthink it because I feel like there could be a mention of like Gasgar likes Ferris wheels <laughs> whereas there's less chance of somewhat just a little line in a story being like and the Tau ate all the ice cream <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with that that's my I want well I, I think A is more likely and B I enjoy it more so two votes for Gazgull's Ferris wheel being true law hammer and Tao eating ice cream. Okay, being let's your see. Um, what are people? What are people saying? What are people? You're not in the inner circle until you ride the circle. <laughs> um, oh. Someone says ice cream. Someone uh, says Ferris now. wheel. But ice cream or wheel? I want. I want. As many answers as possible in the next five seconds. Oh. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a mix, isn't it? It's very mix. Uh, Normally, these guys Google it hard and just know immediately. <laughs> so, I purposely found things 
that you can't would Google. be <laughs> virtually impossible for you to find just by searching. Right. Um, uh, okay, so you've done it again. You've got the correct answer. <laughs> um, but I did have to extrapolate the truth a little bit to get to the point that Gasgol owns a Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay. But bear with me. Tell me more. So whilst reading the uh, Rogue Trader Orc book, mm -hmm. there is a mention Which one? in... Why are the Orcs or Here We Go? Why are the Orcs? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's on... If anyone has that, um, go to page 27 in the last paragraph of page 27. Okay, everyone at home, open your Rogue Trader Why are the Orcs book at page 27. <laughs> uh, can we get just... Um, Rogue Trader Orc... PDF. Why the orcs? Look, I can. Oh. I'll show you the exact. Oh, let's get this on stream. Screen. The exact part. Who knew this would just be available? I mean, it's thirty years out of print, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's not been around for a while. Oh, I love the old artwork. Uh, so uh, every tribe has a few mechs. Then they exploit. The, their love speed to earn some teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, they construct all kinds of Ferris wheels, helter skelters, and roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> the more dangerous ride, the better the orcs like it. So uh, it says knobs or warlords may even commission a mech to design and build him a personal Ferris wheel. Ooh! So I was just thinking, like, surely by that, um, the biggest and baddest orc war boss that has ever lived he would have the biggest best Ferris wheel. He would wheel. have the biggest and best Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that is amazing. That is where the the truth the truth comes from. Oh man! Um, the sensation of speed and disorientation sends the orcs into a state of ecstasy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure how fast the Ferris wheel actually is, but I just love that it literally describes them yeah. as Ferris wheels. Well, it makes sense because like. Orcs, like, you know, you get speed freaks. You get orcs who get so addicted to high speed that they become, like, speed freaks and they just ride bikes everywhere and they can't yeah, get yeah. off of it. So it would make sense that, that, like, when they're not fighting, they would have some way to, like, indulge their need for speed. Some, uh, some things. Um, Ferris wheel doesn't feel like the fastest thing in the, the world. Yeah, like, you know those ones that, like, it's like a wheel on a stick and then the stick goes up and the wheel spins round and but it's that's like... that's not a Ferris wheel. Isn't it? That's like a... That's a different kind of ride. I suppose Ferris was the big slow one, I suppose. Yeah. Isn't it? Where you Ferris look wheel. out over the city kind of job. Very big and slow. <laughs> Famously slow. Um, like the London Eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Maybe the orcs just crank it up. Yeah, I think you'd have to. Oh my God. Maybe they just let, like, they get it spinning really, really fast and then they, like, pull a lever and it just detaches and rolls. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the orc idea of a Ferris wheel. Right. That, yeah, you know what? I'd be into that. Um, uh, pal, holy shit. No walk Ferris wheel. Yeah, so this is it. Even if you... Um, <laughs> oh my God, is that meant to be Wild Wild West? <laughs> I think uh, so. <laughs> walk spider bot. Wiki wiki wah wah. Um, but yeah, even if you like search for it, like, you know, 40k orc Ferris wheels... For any of the nerds in chat, they're like, I can find this out. <laughs> no. Like, it's so, just... Ah, so the moment we disarm the Google chat, chat just doesn't know the yeah, answer exactly. anymore. Yeah, exactly. It gets really split because in <laughs> yeah. turn, the like towel ice cream thing. I was just hoping it's so dumb, um, but you'd be like, oh, maybe it's from a Black Library book. Mm. Some tiny <laughs> reference that no one has ever made like an article about. <laughs> Bam. Amazing. Uh, I love yeah. it. Um, so... <laughs> Chat says I got them with the titties. Oh, the titties. I made the anime, the anime Tao ice cream fetish. Oh, shit. They got them all excited. Oh, that's classic. And I, I always love that classic meme of, like, aliens getting obsessed over, like, something meaningless. Like, yeah. the District 9 aliens love cat food. Yeah, yeah, like, just and something... They get, like, addicted to it. Like, weird alien gets obsessed or addicted to some benign everyday object yeah 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 yeah. like kind of that's what i was hoping hoping you'd like see into but <laughs> yeah. no i like i had my doubts about the orc ferris wheel i think i like had said this to you offhand the other day of like god using any of the old orc law is a risky one because mm. orcs uh, have been so weird in the past that 
anything you could say Almost anything, anything about goes them. for old orcs because they were just uh, they were it just could crazy all be weren't they um I do you love this old orc artwork though yeah it's great like really really cool styles um, ah, who's eating who the face eater squigs <laughs> yeah is it like a personal challenge to eat a face eater while it's alive uh yeah but there's a chance that it just eats your face <laughs> instead <laughs> yeah um, i imagine like two orcs doing competitive squig eating contests yeah 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 like the old um Sneaky hole game. Um, oh, don't want to be a weird boy. Yeah. Oh my god, growlers. Is that going to be a um, a lewd reference? What? Huh? Right. Eh? I'll tell you when you're older. Okay. Uh, it's not links. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's great. It's a great book. Just I've been really enjoying just reading through some of the old stuff. Also. If like every like third paragraph, there is a little tidbit in there that is just like <laughs> just absolute madness. You could throw this in. Um, is this what we're going to get for the next like five weeks of your hammer? just all orcs <laughs> all the time? Um, yeah, I'm up for it. I'm excited. Uh, just nonstop. Uh, yeah, pal. Uh, well, we have to take a break. We do. Um, so we'll be back in sort of like five five minutes or so. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be playing some actual Warhammer. We're playing Halflings. Yep. Stay tuned, stick around. See you soon. See you in five. <laughs>